And we forgot the clown butt. Gotta show off the clown butt. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardness Prime here, doing another Transformers action figure review on the Transformers auto converting Robosyn Optimus Prime, licensed by Hasbro. I have to give a big thanks to Robosyn and Hasbro for making this review possible. I want to give you guys a heads up that there will be a Transformers Tuesday event over on the Hasbro Pulse website where you will be able to pre order one of these. So if you missed out the first time, you will get a second chance. They will be going live on July 20th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And while you're down there, show some love to this channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Big thanks also to the viewers because without you guys, there would be no way I would have this in my possession. And I didn't get a specific delivery date. So one day I was just walking outside and... All right, I'll be back. <laughs> But anyway, these should be releasing in October, so wait for that, and hopefully everybody that wants one could land their pre-order on July 20th. The packaging is immaculate. We can see this nice silver foil where it says Hasbro right there, Authentic Transformers. Nice matte finish, kind of feels like a cell phone cover. And then on the side right here, you can see that you get the voice controlled, interactive play, manual control via mobile app, complete missions, and action library. And it says control program, command and play, an immersive experience. And then you can see the QR code. We'll mess with the apps later on. On the back, you can see this nice spot varnished Autobot insignia and then you get the Autobot logo right over there on the very top with the sticker and then on this side right here you can see the Autobot symbol again Oof. and this thing does weigh quite a bit you can see some uh, copyright stuff and you know barcodes and then on this side right here you can see it has Transformers written coming across the side looking really awesome and you get that wraparound image of Optimus right there just making this whole box look freaking awesome all right man I'm excited for this cannot wait Let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> and here is the case out of the packaging. I didn't know this would come with a case. And this is a very nice hard foam case right here. It's fairly large, stands at around 16 to 17 inches tall. It has clips on the side right here that you flip up. It does have a nice plastic handle right over here. And it had a little piece of plastic around it. I took it off. Another clip right over there. And there's the back of it. Here's the top again and there's the bottom. So we're gonna put it on the side right here, flip these like this. Now I've already assembled uh, the smokestacks, but when you first get this, the smokestacks are not attached. They're in this groove right over here. And as we pan up, you can see how Prime is stored inside this case. So all the way to the right, that is the charger. This sleeve right here, that is your directions. And then you have a USB connector and then those other ports were the smokestacks and the battery for the blaster. And then this box right here has the other accessories, the blaster and the ax. I'm gonna take them out of the box, but first let's look at the accessories. I love this metallic text right here, nice spot varnishing. Anyway, uh, it's kind of just crazy. You just lift this up and then you can see that you have the Energon ax and his blaster inside. And I did put the batteries inside the blaster right here. So you just take this end and you twist and take this off. And you can see that it has, you get a lithium cell CR12203 volt battery. And you can just port it in there and then put this on. It says you're supposed to rotate it, but it just does fine snapping on and off. I do like the paint detail right here with the gray. That looks very nice. It is the traditional Optimus Prime classic blaster rifle. When you shift right over here, you turn it on and you can see the light shines right over there. Then just to shut it off, you just do the same thing. Now I'll show Prime using these. And man, this Energon Axe right here is badass. I love that translucent orange plastic. This is so cool. It does not rotate or anything. And you can see how this will just port right into Prime's hand. Uh, you can see we have the battery charger and after fully depleting the battery it took about two hours and 15 minutes to get him fully charged again I felt like the battery life on this guy was actually not too bad he lasts about an hour and a half to two hours long so I thought that was pretty cool then you have your quick start guide or your not 
quick start guide in here as well because there's a longer instruction booklet, booklet right here and you can see it's only just the two pages so yeah when you first get this guy you say hey optimus prime he'll say greetings and you can tell him to convert in order to change form or a word that rhymes with change form so if you say change form or something that rhymes with change form he will convert uh but anyway it says uh, he'll say who are you i'll show this off and he has 25 different commands right over here then you have this more extensive instruction manual and uh, it's pretty thorough and it does the job. So I, I can't really complain about this and it has several different languages in here as well. So that's pretty sweet. You also get some bonus stickers right here. So you can see a couple of Autobot symbols, nice silver Autobot symbols. And then you get this incredible looking silver Transformers limited edition 0001. I don't know if I have the actual first one. That would be amazing if I did. But I'm curious to know when people start getting theirs in, if it just has that same number right there or if they're all being counted. We'll see. But yeah, that would be nuts if I had the only one that had a one right there. I doubt it. Then you also get this USB port that you could connect Prime to the TV. I'll show that off later on, which, oh my God, what? All right, so let's get this guy out of the box. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? Yeah, I don't know why we needed Bumblebee now. Here's one of my complaints. Yeah, I'm going to make some complaints just because I have to be real with you guys. There are certain things here that I wish were kind of done a little bit differently. I wish there was some kind of powered down locking mechanism so that the figure or the robot, because it's not really a figure, it's definitely a robot, wasn't so floppy. So as you can see, as I take him out of the box, he doesn't really maintain a form. These legs are just kind of drooping down and you know, it's it's a loose robot. He's not powered on. Get the box out of the way here. And you can see we have this Robosyn Optimus Prime in his alt mode, just chilling. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. All right, so just looking at this guy for what he is, still powered down as you can see, the feet are not keeping shape right here. This thing looks so freaking awesome it's a dope ass looking optimus prime even while completely powered down there's a subtle metallic sheen to all of it so you definitely have a bright silver where we have our silver parts the red does have a little bit of a metallicized sparkle in that plastic same thing with the metallicized blue that you can see right over here we have real rubber tires of course horse and then not quite back metal but a very very bright silver right here on the rims of these tires so it doesn't look like back metal to me but it's very bright silver same thing with the smokestacks ah, i'm just really really digging how this looks just on its own power down all right let's get them off the rotating base so now again off the rotating base and still powered down you can see that he will hold form if you just want him on the shelf like this so if you want something like this going on you can do it but let's power him on you'll see he will shift around just a little bit so you, here's the power button and you want to hold that down for five seconds two three four five and i am the leader of the autobots awesome yes <laughs> he's very much alive oh i gotta mention that when you first get him you want to take all the tape off like there's this clear tape over the windshield on the limbs you really want to go through all that trouble because it will get stuck and then when the voice command comes on letting you know that it's stuck it's also kind of creepy and weird because it's this woman's voice and it's like left arm stuck it's kind of freaky but anyway this is badass as hell so now i could pick him up and he'll keep shape see that is awesome so i'm very pleased with that and just looking at this figure i mean i want to get a close look at him uh, before we get through all the sounds and everything like that so yeah as we get a closer look at the grill right here i felt like this was not vac metal but as i look at it a lot more closely it does seem like it's vac metal enough with the vac metal already i really did think it was just a very bright silver but you can see if you stick your fingernail in the middle right here and then push down you can see this is your plug-in port for the charger and there's your plug-in port for going into the usb so you can plug it into your television uh, these are lit up right over here as well as these lights over here and you have this nice uh, not really translucent, 
blue plastic, but I like that they used, it looks like semi-blue translucent plastic. And I don't know how I got little minor scuffs right over here. You can see that the rear view mirrors, they have hinges right here. Uh, these aren't actual lights, but you can see that, you know, you get the orange right over there up top. So that's pretty neat. And I'm trying to also uh, get the idea across that there is a little bit of a metallic sheen to the red on this figure or this robot and it's just hard to pick up on camera but from certain angles I guess you could kind of tell. I don't know, it's tricky. Nice clean looking Autobot symbol right there. Love how the sides of this look. Again, I thought this was not chrome but it may very well be vac metal so I could be mistaken about that. So that looks pretty neat. Yeah, same thing with the tanks right over here on the side. Looks really good, man. Very impressed. Whether it's vac metal or not, very, very bright, vibrant silver. Looks great. These tires do look dirty, as you saw in the rotating base. It had a little thing stuck on it. You know, it's been driving around a bit. So this figure has, or robot, has definitely been played with. Uh, you can see on the back right over here, nice looking smokestacks. Great detail. Uh, you can see where the sound comes out right there. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, well, again, uh, looking at the top, you can see that's the on and off button. Uh, he will power down on his own via voice command. And then looking right there, you can see that the feet and everything, everything blue right here. Nice cobalt blue, very metallic sheen to it. So I really like that quite a bit. And then here's looking at the back of the robot. You can see those lights right over there look really good. You can see how the figure or robot looks. So very, very dope aesthetics. Oh, there's a barcode right over there. So I didn't notice that until just now. Oh man, this thing is amazing. All right, so um, I don't have to transform this guy, which is kind of a trip, and he will just, you know, take voice commands. Now to measure out this Optimus Prime while in truck mode, you can see up to the smokestacks, he's at around eight inches tall, and then measuring him across, he's at about 13 inches to 14 inches across. And for a truck road Optimus Prime comparison, you can see the Robuson Optimus Prime next to the MP10 Toys R Us Optimus Prime, and then we have the G1 Optimus. One thing I want you guys to note is that he is not supposed to be on a soft carpet or anything like that. You want a smooth, hard surface for him to be on or else his feet will get stuck. So this particular uh, soft material right here that we're using as my review station is not ideal. I will take Optimus Prime to the kitchen, but first I wanted to show him convert for you guys. So, hey Optimus Prime, convert. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. All right. And he does face the opposite direction. So uh, when I use the remote, you will be able to see how he can actually turn around on his own and face forward. <laughs> So yeah, it's a little odd. Prime is breathing over here, but I did want to show off this robot while in robot mode. And yeah, I mean, everything looks great. I love how the eyes are lit up over here. Uh, everything is just very G1 Optimus Prime. You have your Autobot symbol. We have those translucent yellow or orange pieces. Not yellow, it's obviously orange. Then you have that crotch arrow pointing downward. Nice silver paint. Then those tanks right there on the side look really good. And I love that good middle gray. Whole thing looks really badass, man. God, this thing is just remarkable. Very, very, very impressive. Of course, we have the rubber tires right here. And then the arms, you can see a little bit more of that little metallic finish I was talking about. And then the hands right here with that cobalt metallic blue, that just looks so sick. You have the gold arrows right there. You can see that nice silver going along the arms. So that looks great. And yeah, you do have to put those smokestacks in as I explained earlier. Then looking at the back right over here, there's the voice box. There's looking at the back of the arms, which is a little bit gappy. There's your Optimus Prime butt. And then you can see the legs and everything. Looks pretty good, man. Those light up heels look dope as hell. Let's go ahead and turn them around. You can see the side of the legs right here. Greetings. Oh, hey, what's up Optimus Prime? Okay, so we have Optimus Prime here in the kitchen, just standing there, breathing, and we get 25 different voice commands. This is nuts. And the instruction booklet has a voice command card right over here. So what you want to do is you want to say, Hey, Optimus Prime. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Move forward. Let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
Wow. And then you could say, hey, Optimus Prime. Sometimes he doesn't hear. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Look out! All right, uh, Optimus Prime, say hello. Oh, wait, you have to say, hey, Optimus Prime first. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Who are you? I am Optimus Prime. Damn straight. <laughs> hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Loyalty. Optimus Prime, move left. You have to wait for him to respond. Hey, Optimus Prime, Greetings. move left. <laughs> hey, Optimus Prime, Greetings. say hello. Greetings, I am Optimus Prime. All right. Uh, wow, there are so many. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Power! Wow. I return more powerful than ever. Jeez, yeah. Hey, Optimus Prime. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Megatron. Megatron must be. Whoa! <laughs> What was that, Optimus? He started a he started weight shaking. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Happy birthday. Greetings from Cybertron. I am Optimus Prime. I am granting you permission to have the greatest birthday the universe has ever seen. Roll out. Wow. Wow. Hey, if it's your birthday today. Uh, happy birthday from both Shardmus Prime and Optimus Prime. Certainly feels like it's my birthday today. Uh, hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Are we friends? You are my friend. God, that is so sick. Okay, so I'm not going through every single one of these, but holy crap, is it amazing. Wait, what if I go, hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Report. Do the Megatron one. Wow, this thing is nuts! Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Megatron. Megatron must <laughs> <laughs> hey, Optimus Prime. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Honor. Wow. This is crazy. Man, I I'm not going to go through every single 25, but just one last one. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Hero. Wow, unbelievable. So the instructions over here, you can see that you do have voice customizing. I haven't really played around with that. There's just so much stuff to look at with this thing. It's just insane how much stuff there is. So I do have the app on my phone and click right here. Starts playing tunes. All right, then you connect it with the figure. All right. Okay, you can turn the volume down. You have the option of actions, remote control, create, and missions. I just want to show off the remote control for right now. And yeah, man, this is actually pretty badass. You can move back. <laughs> I'm gonna goof around with this just a little bit. Keep my eye on the figure so he doesn't run into anything. 
could churn. Uh, let's see. Optimus Prime reporting. Reporting. Legs will split let's a little roll. bit as you go backwards. That's one thing I noticed. Let's Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime reporting for duty. So you can see the legs split right there. Optimus. It's not a big deal. I think it helps with the steering. Let's roll. Get scared Optimus of bumping. Prime. I don't want him to bump into anything. Let's roll. <laughs> Optimus Prime. Uh, oops. Optimus Prime. Let's roll. All right. You have a couple of buttons, and then you could hit the Autobot Great symbol. Great work, team. That was a valiant effort. Nice. <laughs> we all worked very hard right I there. I can really sink my teeth into this mission. I urge you to do the right thing. Great work, team. That was a valiant effort. Beast mode activated. Beast mode? It's time to finish this. You know, it's funny. Survival of the strongest. Hmm. Autobots forever. Our legacy spans many generations. Okay, wow. Autobots forever. He's got a lot of lines right there. And then he has his converting button right here. And it will not follow a voice command while you're using the remote, of course. So you do have to hit this button if you want him to change. And I have an option set up. Oh, God, every time it just looks so badass. Oh, jeez, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then as he's in robot mode, you can see that you can move the arrow pad looks a little different. So he'll walk forward. When you want him to change direction, you have to hit a diagonal and he'll scooch, 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 scoocha, 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 scoocha. He'll pivot to the left and right so you can go left. Pivot right. And then he'll walk backwards, so it's just the one direction going backwards right here. God, this thing is so freaking sick. When you let go, it takes a second. God, it's so freaking sick. And then you have the other buttons right over here, so you can hit the Autobot symbol. He'll talk or do stuff. Ah. So yeah, you do want to... So he does come with his blaster, and you can just go ahead and port this into his right hand. It's intended to be for his right hand, as the directions say. And we have a little icon right here for the blaster, so I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that is badass. Then, of course, he also has his axe, so you can go ahead and port this into the left hand. This is what it's meant for. Like that. Now you have a fully weaponized Optimus Prime. And then we have an axe button right here, or axe icon. Slash, yeah, slash, yeah, take that Megatron, you bastard, yeah, oh, so badass. You can see the time run through right here, so you know when it's done. Oh, God, it's so sick. Now, very important, keep in mind, we cannot be converting him with his weapons in his hands at all. You have to make sure that all the weapons are out of his hands first. Now, if you don't have the weapons in his hands, he'll still go through the same motion. About phase. Let's go. See you later, Optimus. Take care, dude. Cool. Now he's centered. All right. So let's switch over 
to the actions. And this is cool. So you have this whole library of actions. This is everything that you can do. So, and it says download more actions. Please cl click here, oh, which I haven't done yet. I'll do that in a second. Read the names before I hit the buttons. So here we go. Be cool. All right. Almost like a dab. <laughs> Bunch of cool poses, Optimus. And then hero pose, this is my favorite one. Yeah. All right. So all are one, punch the ground. And then uh, power right here. Wish he had a matrix of leadership from to hold. There's no matrix, of, it's like, oh, uh, well. I return. Yeah, for a moment there, it looks like he's supposed to have the Matrix of Leadership, right? And then, lastly, this is Lord Emmetron's absolute favorite one, we have push-ups. Look at that! <laughs> oh my gosh! That is so sick. Okay, so we all need Energon after doing a few push-ups, I guess. Now, he doesn't really need Energon. Uh, as I said earlier, he was at 91%, and he still is. It's been about five minutes since I last mentioned that. Uh, now, the only other two things that I haven't really gotten into here are Create and Missions. So, Create and Missions is going to be tricky. We're going to get back to that. Exactly, I think it was over here in Settings. If you want him to... You know, if you want to change any of these settings right here, I have the uh, convert mode set on front. It was automatically sent on back. Robot walking speed, uh, you could change that. You could also change the volume of the figure, uh, how loud he is. Maybe you turn it down just a little. I don't know. I think he's loud enough. I think it's fine. Yeah, he has an auto shutdown, which is actually helpful. So you don't want him getting stuck in, somewhere in the middle of the transformation. Uh, automatic pose is on. You could shut that off and auto stand up. I haven't really messed with that, so I don't know. I, I'm kind of scared to see what that does. But yeah, you have your languages. You have your voice command options over here. So for the voice command, there's a customizing tutorial. I'll get into that in a little bit. And then there's feedback and help and contact us. And then the USB mode, which uh, you could actually... Whoa, you could plug him into the TV? Whoa, I did not know that. What? Oh my god. So I wanted to give a little demo here with the voice customize function. It's pretty awesome. You could just stack up a bunch of voice commands going on one after another. So you're basically programming your Optimus Prime. So you want to say, hey, Optimus Prime. And then you'll say customize. And then after you customize your arsenal, uh, you'll close it off with uh, start actions. And then he'll do them all back to back. All right, so let's go for it. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Customize. Customize your arsenal. Who are you? Yeah. Say hello. Yeah. Megatron. Yeah. Report. Yeah. Victory. Yeah. Roll out. Yeah. Start actions. And yeah, you could probably say all 25 voice commands and have them do them all at once, or you could do this setting it up same way through the app. Getting into the missions mode right over here, uh, you have these two options. I've tried customize so far. I did this one already, and to show off, 
So the way this works is you just basically follow the directions on how you're supposed to move the figure to sync it up. And I don't know exactly what the main point is, but here we go. I'm going to hit start right here and he'll stand in a neutral pose probably. All right, there you go. Fairly neutral. So first step is to get both arms up. So we'll get both arms up as shown in the picture. Wow. Rotate them up like that. Wow, those tires already look kind of dirty. Okay, and then I'll hit sync right here and port that into this you box made right here. A grave mistake. I did. Oh, practice makes perfect. Okay, so I didn't quite nail it. Those arms are probably too far upward, I'm guessing. Bring them down just a little bit. Maybe that was the issue. I'll hit sync again. And put... That was too easy. Yeah. All right. Got that one. And then next, it shows in this image right here that you need to rotate the fists. So I'm going to rotate the fists so that the fingers are pointing downward. Uh, you want to rotate at the shoulder up there or the bicep. God, that's so weird We're working against the mechanics, but I think this is correct. Let's see. You've made a great oh, mistake. not quite. Didn't quite get that angle right. Let's see here. It's more like a 45 degree turn right up here. Sink. And... Was too easy. Yeah, so easy. I screwed it up the first time. Bend at the elbow. God, this is crazy. All right. And we'll hit sync and put it in that box. That was too easy. All right, thank you, Optimus. You're very nice. And then the last thing is, is he just? Did he just tilt back? Was that just his head or his torso? I think it was the head and the torso. No, just the torso. Okay, I think that's right. I'm scared to bend him too far back. Excellent. Okay. I've completed the task, yay! And then I could hit play right here, see what happens. Until that day, here all till the end. Congratulations. Awesome. Now I have the unlock audio until that day, hero till the end. That's so cool. All right, so now that I've completed mission number two, I have mission number three available. So. I can go through the whole process with number three, and I assume, wow, oh my gosh, there are so many of these. Yo, dude, 15? Wow, oh my god. Okay, so this figure just reached a new level for me. So after you figure out how to do the missions, you can go to create, and you can actually get Prime to do his own motions based off of the same mission tasks that you do during that. So I already have this left shoulder thing set up and Customize your arsenal. when I hit play right here, this was just a little test I did. So I hit play and <laughs> I, I set that up. I made him do that. Like I got him to do that. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm going to make a new one right here. Oh, God, this is freaking nuts. All right, I got a geek out headache. So you want to hit the plus button, start a new one. And you can see the menu just looks how it did when you did the mission. So you want to hit the start button, and he's going to go into this kind of a floppy looking neutral pose. So I'm going to hit that. And this is just showing all the things that I have unlocked, what I'm able to do, and what I'm not able to do at the moment. Okay, so the block base feature is really my least favorite customizing feature or feature on the robot in its entirety. So instead of moving the limbs around with your hand, you could punch in numbers. And you can have those numbers correspond with the different angles on the different limbs. So that's basically how it's supposed to work. So it says start right there. And you have the choice of action, loop, or initial standing where it says control. And then you can select your joints, and it has all the different joints throughout on the robot, which is really nifty. So we're going to try to do something simple right here. Have an action, and then the joint is the head. And I'll have the angle move up to 70. And I hit OK. And then I'll add another control of an action. I haven't had much luck with the loop in the initial standing, so um, I've yet to check out the tutorial on it. 
And then uh, I don't think it's going to be available until a little bit later. I'm going to put that at zero so the head goes back to where it's supposed to be. So basically, I'm expecting the head to move down and up. And I can add an audio. I'm the leader of the Autobots. Hit choose. Let's see if this works. I am the leader. Oh, and then it stops. Okay, so I needed to add more movements, I guess, or have it loop. And I haven't really gotten the loop thing to work. So I can add the loop right there. All right. Oh, if I uh, can I add a head movement to the loop? Nope. No. Yeah, and that happened to me before. So. Yeah, this is not my favorite feature. So measuring out the height of this Robosyn Optimus Prime, he's standing at around 20 inches tall, maybe just around 19 and a half. Then for an Optimus Prime comparison, we have our Robosyn Optimus Prime next to the 3-0 Transformers Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime, and then we have the Takara Masterpiece MP44 Prime, and then there's our G1 Optimus Prime. And to compare this Robosyn Optimus Prime next to another large Autobot, we have Hasbro's War for Cybertron Trilogy's Omega Supreme. And I didn't expect these two to stand at about the same height, but yeah, their eye line is fairly close. And here's Robeson Optimus Prime next to a super cheap, easy to acquire Transformers figure. We have the HasLab Unicron, and yeah, they're still a much larger figure. God, I'm trying to think to myself which one I like more. This Optimus Prime, it's... Oh no, it's in a league of its own, man. It's different, but so is Unicron over here. So it's really hard to say. And then here's Optimus next to another large robot. We have the Marvel Legends Hasbro Sentinel from the Days of Future Past box set. And here's Robeson Optimus Prime next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man and no stop motion because I can't do a stop motion with this thing breathing over here and he can't stand up on his own like this without him being turned on. Plus I'm exhausted. This review was crazy difficult to make. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching Watching it, I actually really did enjoy making it. This thing is a lot of fun. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this content and help make this channel grow. If you're interested, check it out. Link below on the Tron or click that join button to join the membership. And I will be taking a little bit of a break from making videos. This is a big, long video. And man, it was a lot of fun playing with this Robeson Optimus Prime. I'm probably gonna just keep on playing with it for the next couple of days until all the SDCC stuff comes out. But yeah, this thing is absolutely nuts. It's got a price point of 700 bucks, man. And I feel like I haven't, I have spent so much time with it and I feel like there's still a lot more to do. So without question, I, it's, it's something that I think is a fair, investment because there's a lot to this this is not something where you play with it for a couple of days and then you store it and then you forget about it there's a lot to do with this thing and i doubt anyone's gonna have that kind of treatment with this thing unless they don't like seeing transforming robots move on their own and stuff if you're not into that and you just want to have the transforming experience then yeah it's not for you and no this figure will not be for every single person out there but if you're a big transformers fan you are going to lose your freaking mind over this thing it is amazing i'm not bsing you guys like there's really very few flaws with this thing my gripes are super minor. Like, my biggest gripe is that when he's powered down, his legs are floppy. The block-based customizing movements thing, that is kind of a gripe of mine. And sometimes Optimus is a little hard of hearing. So those are really the two biggest gripes that I have. But what, there's like 700 servos and we have the actual voice of Peter Cullen in here? Oh, come on. But you can still pose him around in truck mode. You can't pose him around in robot mode. You can get him into that little charging squat, but that's about it. But... Everything else, dude, it, this thing is just an incredible feat of engineering and creativity. I just think this is an amazing piece, and I'm giving it a sun rating of... <laughs> And I know, and I don't care, that people are thinking, oh, he's giving it such a high rating because he got it for free. Of course, I would give it an A plus if I got it for free too. I'm telling you, man, I know what 700 bucks is worth. I bought my Unicron figure, and this is right up there with the geek out factor. Like, it is there, dude. So you could take my word for it or not and miss out on this thing. But, oh man, if you love Transformers to the point where you're down to see something like this in your home and you want to have fun with it, then... 
I recommend picking it up, but again, not for everybody. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to stay in touch with me over on social media, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, I'm sure this Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.